Okay, kids, we're back for part two of cooking Moolar duck uh, with, uh, this is obviously not the duck because the duck is still in the oven. This is the confit of cipollini onions flavored with star anise. And I just turned the heat up just a little. Like, it hasn't been like that the whole night. Uh, it's actually been, I just, I just wanted to show you the bubbles. So that's, they are perfectly cooked. I've taken one out. They are very, very just tender, just like butter. So the time is, so when I turned everything down, it was one o'clock. It is now five o'clock in the morning. So the, the duck legs that I'm about to take out uh, have been sitting in the oven, baking in the oven. Now I pumped it up to 275. I thought, I don't know, for some reason, I, I thought 250 was too low. I put in a 275. So we're gonna take them out. They smell amazing. I'm really getting the the aroma of star anise is really hitting me. Okay, this is how they they come out of the oven, and so they're they're very nicely cooked. Uh, they're they're crispy, a little crispy on the outside, uh, which is kind of what you want. You gotta give me a timeout because I've got a broken oven door, and we gotta make sure it doesn't fall on my legs. Okay. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up some oranges. So we're going to still flavor this with oranges. Now, because this is not a whole duck, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to bake the oranges separately in duck fat. Okay, because the duck legs are cooked. Uh, now, also, I've got some carrots. So there's some, something, there's my cutting board where I'm going to cut everything up. So the interesting thing about the uh, confit, uh, th this, this fat, okay, I'm going to drain... Uh, the fat from the onions and uh, so I'll drain the fat from the onions okay I'll reserve that I'll put that in a pot another pot and I'll do the same thing with the carrots here's one of the carrots <laughs> I just woke up <laughs> oh my god my life okay and the oranges I'm gonna slice and because uh, now in, in times when I've cooked whole dogs uh, what I usually do is I put the sliced oranges on the entire duck, but because you're looking at the duck leg, and if you notice, uh, they've shrunk a little bit, and that's just because it's just the cooking process, right? And you notice something, look at all the duck fat in there. I want to show you something. That is, you know, a good shot of that? You can see that. That is a lot of duck fat. I added nothing to that. I put two raw duck legs in there, little salt, a little star anise, and that's it. And all that rendered fat is uh, from the, uh, the duck leg itself because ducks are extremely fatty. Uh, so uh, let's just start the uh, confit of the carrots. I'm actually not gonna do it because I'm going to work soon. I start at eight, and, but uh, so the, I'm just gonna do some prep. So I'm gonna drain the, um, the fat uh, from, the, uh, from the onions. I'm gonna uh, take the duck legs out of here, and uh, we may have time to do the um, the oranges because the oranges will cook quickly. So what I'll do is I'll probably roast the oranges in the duck fat, okay, in this roasting pan. Uh, but I won't roast them with the uh, duck legs, or will I? Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, when we come back. I'm gonna take a quick pause. We'll find out what I'm gonna do, but I will be roasting uh, the blood oranges and duck fat. Coming back. Okay, kids, we are back. Uh, so again, those are the duck legs. There's the onions. I shut that off. So I've done my prep. So I've sliced my oranges. So I've made in my executive uh, chef's mind. I'm going to do uh, roast. Um, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna layer the oranges on top of the duck legs, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just do this. I just want to get a little. Oh, they look beautiful. I I felt them. They are super tender, super tender. So they're beautiful, and basically I'm just gonna gently, very gently, uh, roast these oranges on top of the duck legs. Okay, so let's start doing that actually. And to do that, first we have to move some stuff around. Okay, let's put some oranges on. Yeah, <laughs> orange me. Okay, let's do that. Now, rightfully, what I should be doing is I should be dipping all the oranges in the fat. 
because that'll help to that helps the cooking process okay because you want it coated I should try and center my camera as I do this okay because the oil will help the oranges cook now obviously there isn't enough duck <laughs> to do this but that's okay I'm gonna just make a layer of oranges and these will cook gently in the oven now uh, I go to work at 8 so I leave my apartment at um, 730 so I've got lots of time to do this uh, this will literally take about a half an hour uh, to do this actually so I'm gonna just roast them maybe we'll pump up the heat to about 300 degrees I'm not gonna go too much higher because the duck legs aren't cooked and I don't want to overcook them so actually briefly, if I wanted to I should actually just take the duck legs out Mm, should I debate this or should I just do it like this I will just do it like this because if for some reason I'm not satisfied with how how well the oranges are cooked I could just recook them later tonight and okay so oh my god where are the duck legs <laughs> oh there's a whole bunch of oranges I <laughs> where'd they go <laughs> okay so let's turn the um Okay, so just initially, I'm going to turn it up to 350, get some heat. I should put a little salt on that, actually, just because I, um, I do like to season. I've got a little duck fat on my fingers right now, so <laughs> this is going to come out of the locker. <laughs> okay. And actually, you know what? I'm not going to season with salt because, you know what? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Actually, uh, sorry. I apologize. I will not season the blood oranges with salt because I want the natural flavor of the oranges, okay? Because the duck is already seasoned. I just woke up, okay? Give me a break! There's my coffee pot. I even, ha I even had my... I even have not had my coffee yet. That's how committed I am to my YouTube cooking video vlogs that very few people watch, but, um... Well... Actually, one video I did get uh, over 100 views, and that was the George Foreman roasting a chicken. By the way, George Foreman, if you're out there, please subscribe. <laughs> also, Lady Gaga and uh, Kim Kardashian. Actually, uh, apparently I'm supposed to DM uh, celebrities uh, to get hits or something. Or, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to... Actually, what I'm really supposed to do is I'm supposed to paint my kitchen because my walls look like crap. Because I fry a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, and that's going to bake. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be careful with my oven because I don't want it to pop open. It's broken. And it's hard to... Because this cloth usually goes in there to jam it. I have to do that. Eventually, when the uh, COVID-19 calms down... Uh, I need a maintenance request to fix my oven door. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. This is the confit of the triple E. They're super tender. I've tried one. And we're going to drain the fat. Okay. That smells beautiful, by the way. The, the flavor, the, the aroma of the onions... Look at that, beautiful. And the aroma of the um, Starnese, which which is a nice match too. Starnese is a very nice thing. I'm gonna put these in the serving bowl. Okay, let's put this over here. Now our carrots, now I guess the only thing about it is do I have enough oil, uh, fat for the carrots to cook? I'm going to say yes. Okay, I need to uh, do this so I don't spill. Okay, remember, chef's hands. Chef's hands can touch anything. Because we're chefs, right? Only chefs can do. <laughs> also, because my Tinder date stood me up. I will not name her. These are the roses I got for her. I was quite sad the other day, eh? You know, I... I got the roses, I said I was going to cook the duck for, and then nothing. 
So, I've got a word for Tinder. I'm done with you. It's on to Facebook dating. Three bad experiences with Tinder of late when I'm trying to get back into the dating game. Three liars, one no-show, forget it. Facebook. Uh, I've never done a Facebook in terms of the dating, but I guess I'm doing it now. And I've got 13 likes, we'll see what happens, but unfortunately, I'm still a little, I'm still trying to get over the uh, lovely lady that I was talking to on the uh, Tinder. So, uh, let's put these guys in here. Uh, so now, I won't have time to cook these because I'm going to just put them in the pot. And I'll probably add a little more of the fat uh, from the um, from the uh, from the duck that's in the oven. And let's, let's spoon this. And that's actually enough fat right now. So I could actually get it going if I wanted to. But uh, because these will take a, about several hours to cook. Uh, and I will cook this probably tonight. Um... Actually, you know what? Let's do an experiment. I leave it. Uh, the only problem is I don't want to leave them on my stove top. I can't do them hot. Yeah, I will do them tonight. So these carrots, I'm gonna say, will take. Um, actually, I don't know how long they're gonna take. Actually, I should actually Google that. But I would say anywhere from, well, the chipotle onions. These these babies here. These these cook for four hours and they're very very soft, very beautifully cooked. So let's say we're gonna cook these for four hours. I'll do that tonight. This is actually all for uh, uh, tomorrow's meal because I've got fish in the fridge for tonight. I've got bassa fillets. Uh, on one of my last cooking vlogs, I did uh, Cajun style bassa fillets, and that's what I'm having for supper tonight. Is in the fridge because uh, usually with the way I do uh, my food. By the way, this is my lunch today at work. These are amazing, okay? These are sweet potato noodles. Uh, they're from a company called Sushi To Go. And this is such a nice lunch. It's, uh, the noodles are made from sweet potatoes, okay? And with vegetables, and they're seasoned with uh, sesame oil, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, soy sauce. So the bass of fillets, which I, I've done a previous video, a video on, I'm gonna make my dinner tonight, and I'll do them Cajun style. And I've got roasted beets in my fridge; uh, they're cooked, and I'll serve it with broccoli, and we'll call that a day. Uh, so we're gonna come back quickly. Uh, these are gonna just uh, keep in the fridge now. Uh, these I'm gonna put in the fridge now, and we'll come back, and we'll see how the duck legs look like in about a half an hour with the roasted oranges on. And that'll be basically the, that'll be it for this cooking vlog of roasted moulin duck legs from Quebec uh, with Cipollini onions, confit of Cipollini onions, the star anise. I'm working on the title. It's a work in process. The full title will actually be in the description, will be in the title of the YouTube video because right now I'm just uh, winging it. <laughs> Eventually I'll try and articulate it nicely. Anyway, it's coming back soon to show you the finished product of the duck legs and oranges. Okay, kids, we're uh, back uh, for the, uh, to finish this uh, cooking vlog of the duck legs. Uh, so underneath the oranges are the duck legs. So I didn't want to like cook the duck, uh, the, well, the duck legs are already cooked. I didn't want to cook the oranges too much. I just wanted to uh, bring them up to the temperature. They're very hot. And also, eventually, I'm going to reheat this, uh, so I'm going to turn my oven off. So, uh, so basically, uh, I started this. It's now uh, 20 to 6 a.m., uh, April 14th. I started this uh, all this duck leg at 12:30 last night. The ducks went in the oven at 1 o'clock in the morning. Duck legs, and the oranges have been in for a about a half an hour. Uh, and the Cipollini onions cooked for four hours in duck fab, and I, and I seasoned the oil with, um, what do you call it, uh, sardines. So, let's see what we can do here. So I want to, I want to put this in a certain, oh god, that's hot. <laughs> Chef's hands. <laughs> okay. So here's one duck leg. Boom. Okay, here's another duck leg. 
This is very hot, by the way. Oh, God, that's hot. Ah! Hands of steel! Woo! Okay. okay. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so, so basically, let's see, I'm, I'm going to try and do a little presentation here. Uh, a little depth of a little orange action. Okay. And, oh my god. Actually, I'm going to put all this in my fridge anyways, so. Now, uh, cooked, you can actually eat cooked oranges. You can actually eat the skin, eh? Uh, so in one of my kitchens, we used to do something called preserved lemons, which are basically taking, uh, lemons, um, lemon juice and kosher salt and, and brining them. But anyways, you can, uh, that's actually, I'm getting off topic. Um, you can, uh, you can eat the skin of, of, uh, of uh, citrus fruits and you can especially eat it when it's cooked. And these have been cooked through. Okay. They're, they're very tender now. And I've got to use my tongs because I'm actually, I'm actually uh, putting my fingers into really hot duck fat, which is not a great idea, actually. <laughs> okay, oh my god. Okay, let's just. Okay, so that's 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 that. So I've got a lot of of uh, duck fat in there, which I'm going to reserve. I'll probably pour a little in there just to uh, to keep it. Uh, I don't know, keep it fatty. <laughs> So those are so those are the Tripolini onions, those are the duck legs, the Mular duck legs, aloe orange. I guess you could say that. Uh, there is my coffee that I so desperately needed, uh, because when it comes to the morning time, you need caffeine. Take a sip. Wipe my uh, duck fat away from my uh, off my fingers so I can hold my cell phone and not get it encrusted with duck fat and say. That's it for now for this uh, cooking vlog of, um, of John's cooking vlogs where I cook uh, roasted uh, moolar duck legs a la orange with the uh, confit of Cipollini onions with star meats. That's a working title and we'll keep working. And um, oh yes. Um, I have to end the video, so I have to say, yes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, John T. Food 66. Please hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the bell indicator. I usually upload, right now I'm averaging about uh, two to four videos a week, sometimes more. I do vlogs. Uh, unfortunately, there's very little music for me to record because the whole point of my channel was to record the live uh, Toronto music scene, which because of COVID-19, now it doesn't exist, it's all online, but we will get through this, you know, keep safe, and that's it for me, have a great day, and um, God bless everyone, bye for now, ciao.